Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just put the Uno counterbalance full shoulder rig here, and I could fill up our counterbalance back there with whatever was appropriate in terms of weight. And I'm just gonna kip, again, the nice thing about having kip handles is I can go ahead and adjust them. Pull this out and tighten, and then get it out of the way. This is completely configurable. Right now I've got the kip essentially in a place I don't really want it. But in this case, you can see what I have now is I have um, a counterbalanced Cyclops with Medusa and Proteus, the, the follow focus. So, or Duras, sorry, I'm losing track of our own names. It's embarrassing. So there you go. There's a fully counterbalanced uh, rig based on, in this case, Cyclops. And uh, we do have the option here. You can see this height's not quite where it should be. Notice here that the viewfinder is not really I mean, I'm, I'm basically talking into it instead of looking into it. The great thing about our shoulder kits though, is that they have this option here to both adjust the offset and also the height. So I could fine tune any of these components to get the unit higher or lower, depending on my shooting style. So there you go. That is um, Cyclops as I never expected it to look, but this is a great example of just how modular our equipment tends to be. So there you go. I hope you enjoy that. Not just a viewfinder, it's, uh, I don't know, it's a lot of other things too. So I know some of you were watching the Cyclops piece probably thinking, you know, Cinevate didn't put enough into the base plate. There's not enough options because there's only four or five and who knows how many you'll come up with. But we came up with yet another one um, that we think is going to be really important. In this configuration here, we have the Canon 5D. Um, if I was to put the optional battery uh, the extra battery on here actually it would be oriented this way. Um, it does make the camera taller and it does make it fatter But we've accounted for that in the design of the Cyclops. So if you did want to go with The alternate which would be the Uno type mount This is a single rail mount and you can see the viewfinder is now completely independent of the camera There's no slide under the camera. It's now on its own ball system and it can be oriented in any orientation which means that if you were using, say, a high definition video camera and you wanted a viewfinder, well, because of this adjustability, you can also hang this from the top of the camera, but we can take this right off. And this bracket will allow you to do just about anything in terms of orientation. And it's still, uh, we still have the height adjustment here, but what we've done is run one of our um, urethane ball systems into the bottom of the viewfinder, which, surprise, surprise, is compatible with them. So. Uh, in the case of this Nikon D3S, which is a very uh, tall camera, one of the sort of side benefits of having this here is that A, I can remove the camera very quickly. Um, the viewfinder is not part of the camera at all. And if I turn this way, you'll see uh, the white balance quality and ISO buttons and LCD screen is not obstructed by the viewfinder. So I can still get in here and use it, uh, the camera completely, in this case with our core. And if I want to get everything off of here, I can just loosen this again, slide this out of the way, and using our new quick release system, I can pretty much pop the camera right off, and here we're ready to go in a, a single shot mode. Or if you, you know, we're doing video in a very tight spot, that gives you the bare camera. And again, to put everything back into full cinema mode is pretty much um, a quick release, a slide up and forward, and what you have now is an independently adjustable viewfinder. So there you go, Cyclops and Uno mixed together in the single mount configuration. And that will be an option available for purchase on our website. So there you go. We have now covered Cyclops in, I believe five different configurations. Um, we've shown how a basic viewfinder can be the start of a full DSLR rig if, if uh, required, or whether it can just be an add-on viewfinder to a 15 millimeter rail system, virtually any system in any camera on the planet were able to accommodate. The important thing about Cyclops is that I still, you know, either either configuration, I do get a 72 mil macro, very high quality macro that I can put in front of the lens if I want to. And I have a lot of options in terms of how I can mount this. So if you were to purchase the Uno combination and you wanted to use the sled combination that we had here, then no problem because they're all fully compatible. So essentially everything works with everything from the Cinevate line and uh, uh, I can imagine there really are very few limits at this point in terms of what you can do with your rig. So hope you enjoyed that. Cyclops has been a long time in coming. We've spent a lot of time uh, on building what we think is the sharpest 
and certainly the the uh, in terms of the optic the largest um, viewfinder accessory if you like on the planet so there you go enjoy and uh, we hope you enjoyed the cyclops section of Cinevate's Video University.